Get ready for an epic journey throughout the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! In this series, we'll start with the basics and work our way up, exploring each era of the game, opening packs, building decks, and dueling with classic and modern cards. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, this series is for you. So stick around because the heart of the cards are calling, and together we will become true duelists. Welcome to the Garbage Lords Progression Series. Alrighty, so here we are. Zach, you have a card that you need to ban. You have lost three games in a row, and uh, that's that's not okay. So you need to figure out what card you decided was too powerful, too annoying, too frustrating, or darn right stupid to get out of our series. What do you think it's going to be? Oh, I mean, there's so many options. You've gotten just an endless amount of stupid cards that you've been playing. Um... I really thought about stuff like Megamorph and Swords because those have essentially won you so many games, but one card that I I know you've been kind of deck building around that I don't think you're, you'd be expecting would actually be Raigeki Break, and that's what I'm going to be banning. Really? Yep. I mean, so, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah ex explain your reasoning, please. Yeah, you don't really have much spell trap removal outside of um, bait doll and this just gives you such good removal whereas my pool has so so much better back row. like I've got actually I actually have books um, I've got the um, magic cylinder just so many good back row options whereas you don't and just being able to completely blank one of your options um, gives me a better chance moving forward yeah, and I, I guess in, in the same sense, Raigeki Break is really versatile. I can not only hit face down, but face up. I can hit monsters, I can hit field spells, you know, anything I want. So yeah, that, that's that's an interesting choice. All right, well, uh, we are going to remove Raigeki Break from our collection, and let's go ahead and get on into the pulls. What is up, guys, and welcome to today's episode of the Garbage Lords Progression Series. Now, Zach just had a banning, and I don't know what it is at this point in time. You will have already seen it because it's going to come in before we do the set in a deck profile. But right now, I have no idea what he's going to ban. Off the top of my head, I think it'll be Swords or maybe Heavy Storm, just because those are the only two that won't be banned in a few episodes. Uh, but it could also be things like Needle Sealing. Uh, it could be something funny like... Uh, Raigaki Break, since that's the only like removal spell that I have a uh, play set of, and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about Dark Crisis, which is actually a pretty strong set when you look at it. So at the Secret Rares, we have Judgment of Anubis, which this is okay. It's a decent counter trap, uh, but more importantly, we have Vampire Lord, which is a very decent monarch it's basically a monarch that just keeps coming back it's 2k attack which sure it's not great but you can play it in like a mystic plasma zone deck uh it is a very good monarch and that is like the name of the game in this set we have kaiser glider which is a very strong monarch style card it is an actual monarch with 2400 attack uh, it just doesn't have a decent effect it's essentially a vanilla we have Skull Archfiend of Lightning, which we do get the Chess Archfiend cards here. Uh, cost down lets you summon them a little bit easier. Uh, Guardian Gnarl is a very strange one. You can special it if you're playing the Gravity Axe. Uh, same thing with uh, pretty much all the like equip spell like guys. Gravity Axe Gnarl, the uh, Guardian T uh, Tyrese, whatever... You know, all these guys are kind of interesting. Uh, into the rares, importantly, we do get Skill Drain here. Uh, this is a very strong card, and hopefully we will play set. Our first 1900 Normal Summon in Archfiend Soldier. Uh, notably, it is a Fiend, so... Uh, we might use this to run back Dark Necro here at some point. Uh, we have Great Maju Garzette. I think this card is actually really strong. This card's attack becomes equal to twice the original attack of the monster that she used for its tribute summon. It's only level 6, so it is a monarch, and you can do something simple like if you have a 1200 body left on the field, or let's say a recruiter like a Mystic Tomato, you tribute summon this, it's 28, uh, which is very strong. Uh, we have Sukuyomi, which is also very, very good, uh, pretty much the only good uh, 
spirit monster apart from Yada Garasu. Uh, we get the Dark Scorpion stuff here, but unfortunately you do need kind of all of it and we've missed a good few of them. Uh, short prints to look out for are Ojama Trio. Uh, dice reroll if it is a short print, I'm not sure it's in here twice. Uh, Maju Garzet is the same thing as the Great Maju Garzet, except it's a level 7. Uh, and it becomes the combined original attack, so obviously not as good. Pandemonium and Falling Down are very important for the Chess Archfiend strategy, which is a deck that is very playable if you do pull it all. Into the Super Rare slot, there's a couple to look out for, uh, mainly DD Warrior Lady. This card will be playable so long as we have it. Um, yeah, there's basically nothing else that needs to say about it. Uh, Different Dimension Dragon is just kind of funny card where it's like those super weird floodgate -y kind of card. Can't be destroyed by spell and trap effects that don't target it, and it can't be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 1900 or less attack. Um, so if you get it to be like really big, it's kind of funny. It can't be killed by DD Warrior Lady, um, but then DD Warrior Lady can just banish it. It's very funny. Uh, we have Zork, yet another very funny card. I doubt we're going to get to see it. Uh, it's just not playable right now, but it's funny. Amidora is very funny in a fairy deck. However, uh, there's not really enough that are worth playing. Gyakugiri Panda is a very important card, however. Um, gains attack, does piercing, super strong card. We hope to pull three of this. Uh, we have some funny things like Sasuke Samurai number two. We have Gaga Giga, which will be important for a Legendary Ocean, which we don't have on the table, but Zach does. Um, we have things like the Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, which will be important for Armed Samurai Benkai. Uh, Keldek is a very important card for the uh, Rat Toolbox kind of deck that we could play. Uh, Dragdown of the Grave is important for Dark Worlds later on. Final Countdown is very bad, but it's still funny. Sakuratsu Armo will become the premier battle trick of the format. Uh, Ojama Trio is a very strong card in terms of just flooding your opponent's board, and then you can Kakugiri Panda over everything. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get into our 24 packs of Dark Crisis. First pack, let's flip them up. And uh, Sakuratsu Armor. That's good. We have one. We want three. <laughs> we really want three. We desperately want three. Flip them up. Um, final countdown. Uh, there's a Pandemonium. Uh, that's good for the Chess Archfiend, which we just got an Infernal Queen. Uh, what does this card do? It's decent, but it's really not that strong. Also, it's a fire, so we have one UFO turtle. Not the greatest. Um, final attack orders is kind of funny. Uh, drag down to the grave is very good for when we get to Dark World. <sighs> there's Shinado, King of a Higher Plane. Um, it just does piercing. It's a 33 body that does piercing. Second Sakuratsu armor, very important, however. Ooh, and there's a great Maju Garzat. I'm very happy to see this. I would like to see multiples. There's also a Maju Garzat that I didn't uh, note. We're not playing Shinado. We are not playing Shinado. Uh, Archfiend Soldier, very good. Second great Maju Garzette. I'm super happy to see that. Super pumped. Flip them up. Uh, another final countdown. There's a Shinhado's Arc. Oh, that was rough. We got so close. So unbelievably close. But LOB staples are just so good, especially when you can cycle them. Well... We get 30 packs of Dark Crisis. Let's start by flipping the first pack. Archfiend Soldier is good. Uh, Sakuretsu is also very good. We want to place it a sock. And out of the rare slot, we do want the Archfiends as well as Skill Drain. Speak of Skill Drain. And Final Attack Orders is also very good. Um, I do want to play another sock. That's good. I do want to play Archfiends. Oh, that's actually, this is a big Archfiend pack. My goodness. This is just a good pack in general. Um, and out of the super slots, I really, really want a, um, I really want DD Warrior Lady, but I'm not sure if we're going to get that. Final Attack Orders is also very good. I kind of want to pick that up. Archfiend's Oath is very good. Checkmate isn't horrible, but it's also not very good unless we get, um, Terra King Archfiend. Pandemonium is a short print, and we need at least 
two of them for me to consider it. While we do have V3 terraforming, I would much rather have something that I can do with it. Dark Flare Knight, of course, yeah. Uh, you take no battle damage if I'm in this card. When it's destroyed by battle, it's not a graveyard for someone. Mirage one. Knight. Oh, there's a Gakagiri Panda. I don't know if we opened hardly any of this. Let's check the draft here. Uh, that is the first Gakugiri Panda. We hope to pull more. Well, nothing here. Just over halfway through here, and nothing. Uh, Kelbeck is good for the Earthbox deck, however. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu will be good for um, Arm Samurai Benkai, and uh, I think this is our third copy of Dragdown. Very good and um, incredibly good for Dark Worlds later on. Nothing here to talk about. I mean, we've seen a second Legendary Flame Lord. Not really all that good. There's a Fear from the Dark. I didn't even know this card was this old. I thought Despair from. I thought this was a retrain of Despair from the Dark. No, it's just an actual card. Um, also, it's. Um, I don't know. It's kind of funny. I doubt we're going to play it. Um, nothing here. I Uh, Infernal Queen isn't bad. Um, oh, okay, this pack is a little bleak. Uh, I think that was a second Pandemonium. Uh, Guardian is not the worst card, but I'd rather have anything else from the Ultra slot. Dark Bishop isn't terrible. Final Attack Orders. Judgment of Anubis is good. That's a secret. Berserk Dragon is good. Um, oh, DD Warrior Lady. Gosh. I do not want that. That's probably one of the worst cards I could have gotten out of the rare slot. Um, another sock. I think that's our playset. Getting into the last third of the cards. Archfiend Soldier, Pandemonium again. Here. Flip it up. <laughs> There's a Zork. Uh, it's a falling down. Contract with the Abyss. This is what's on Sorkin, I believe. Any dark ritual monster. And her field. So equal. Exactly equal. Okay, that's the problem. Desperately it does anything. Not really all that good. Alright, last couple of packs here. Um in this one, nothing of note. I think we've only gotten one panda. There's another Archie and Soldier, and there's a Dark Flare Knight, which is kind of funny. Nothing there. All right, second. All right, last pack here. Let's hope it. Um, Panda, Manju Garzette, please. Oh, that was our first skill drain, too. That's the thing that really sucks. All right. Um, well, this is an interesting. Uh, so we did... So we did discuss it with Zach, and we decided that Swap Frog tickets are going to be the one thing we can hold um, for the future. Um, so I'm not going to Swap Frog anything here, and I also I don't really feel like redoing this thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and add this reflection and get on into the deck edit. We do need more Falling Down. I don't think we've seen a single Falling Down. Do not want Sook. Um, another Skill Drain. Um, uh, Archfiend's Oath is not bad. Guardian Trice. Ooh, Vampire Lord is big, 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 big. Um, different Dimension Gate. All right, we've got three packs left. I need to absolutely will into existence some cards. Please, pack gods be with me. Pack gods be with me. Exodia Necros is literally farthest from what I wanted there. Ooh, Elma's good. I will definitely take an Elma. Another skill drain. Um, okay. Final attack orders. How many final attack orders did we get? 
we managed to get a playset. That's big. That's big, 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 big. So two Guardian CL, um, Butterfly Dagger Elmo, which I don't know if you guys know this card. Um, when this card is destroyed inside the graveyard, you can return it to the hand. It just helps with some loops and shenaniganery, which is a very good card. It does end up limited and then banned shortly after. Um, skill Drain is huge. I wish we didn't get combination. Combination is awful. Same with uh, metalizing whatever parasite garbage. But out of the rares, honestly, I'm pretty happy. We did get um, some Archfiend cards out of the rares. And I think we managed to get two Falling Down plus a Pandemonium. But I don't think this set, I don't think that we can realistically play this without um, Terror King. But overall, and here's I'm the very deck. happy with this. So I'll be completely honest, I was really in. struggling to find playables that we haven't already used. And to be fair, we're still using like 13, 14 of the exact same cards. But this is relinquished good stuff. Or I guess I should say ritual good stuff. We have a bunch of generically good cards just backed up by some bomb ritual monsters. Uh, and then we have Shinato. Anyway, let's go ahead and get onto the card by card because there's really not a whole lot to talk about. We have one Bazoo, one Exiled Force, two Giant Rat, and one Injection Fairy Lily. Both Exiled Force and uh, Lily can be gotten off Giant Rat, so that's kind of why it's here. We've got the one Hadas and the two Lesser Fiends, essentially the best monarchs we have access to. And really, right now, one Tribute Monsters are the most powerful we can play. We've got the one Magical Merchant, the two Moth, two Mystic Tomato, two Old Vindictive Magician. This is kind of weird without the Apprentice Magicians. This isn't the greatest card because we're really only ever setting it it's kind of a brick in the hand but it is just man eater bug but better uh, especially if our opponent tries to do something like poke with a tomato and then poke with a big guy uh, we got the one sangan of course along with the one witch we've got send you of the thousand hands and three sonic bird um, this is really unfortunate because send you searches monsters and sonic bird searches spells and really we need more access to the monsters now relinquish specifically we have plenty of access to because we can get it off of witch and sangan however shinado we do kind of have to hard draw or draw the send you we have the one spirit reaper and then we get on to the rituals like i said we have one relinquished and two shinado uh this we also have the black illusion ritual and two shinado's arc we did pull three of this but i really felt like two was just the better option to play and then on to just staple cards book of moon dark hole heavy storm mega morph Reborn, a pot of greed, life for or I keep saying life for swords, swords of revealing light, the one bottomless trap hole, the two mirror wall, and to replace our three uh Raigeki break that we no longer have, we have two Sakuratsu armor, which is not necessarily better, but it fills its own niche, and then one needle ceiling in the main deck. In the side deck, we have three DD Crazy Beast. This is really just in here because shoutouts to Hatch, this card is crazy, and in a format where we really just want to blank things like sand gans, tomatoes, rats. This isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, three bait doll, one nobleman, and one spiritualism. Uh, these are just the suite of back row removal to bring in in case he's on some kind of burn trap strategy. Uh, three drag capture jar. We keeping this in the main because I have the feeling that Zach is going to stick onto dragons and the dragon like wind tribal deck that he played last game and try and trip me up because that is realistically the strongest thing he could be playing uh to ordeal the second needle ceiling and the one trap dash shoot just because i feel like we're going to be losing the die roll pretty often and this does nothing going second i mean reasonably it does but it really shouldn't anyways let's go ahead and get on to the duels all righty so this is the deck we're going to be bringing today and i really hope i can squeak out a win because if the last deck couldn't, I am not holding out much hope. Anyways, enough ruminating on unfortunate events. We are going to jump right into the deck profile. We are going to start with our toolboxy part of this deck. Oh yes, I am calling this deck Garbage Toolbox. Kind of taking it after um, the name of our series. So, we will start with Vampire Lord in the toolbox section. Whenever this card inflicts battle damage uh, on our opponent, we declare one type, and then they have to send one card of that type from deck to graveyard, and then once per turn during the next standby phase, if this card was destroyed by battle or card effect, we get to special summon it from the graveyard. So it's an advantage engine in that it um, forces our opponent to send vital materials from deck to graveyard, and also keeps recurring if he can only mount something such as 
a um, fissure or uh, offerings or needle sealing. And then next up, we have a lesser fiend, which you saw this last episode, where it just really can out, it's very, 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 very effective at outing floating monsters such as recruiters. On, both of these on one tributes are very, very strong. While neither of them has a ton of attack points, I believe that just the sheer advantage that our deck can produce will aid us in kind of circumventing that. And then next up, we have Amazonas Swordswoman. Now this just forces our opponent to take any battle damage with a battle involving this card. So if we swing into a 3k beat stick, then our opponent will take the 15 instead of us. Next up, we have Breaker, which is either Gemini Elf or Spell Trap Removal. Very, very strong card. There's a reason why it got limited very shortly after its release. And next up, we have DD Warrior Lady. After damage calc, you can banish this card along with the card that it battled. So this just helps us to out recruiters, as well as get rid of sticky monsters. Same thing with Exiled Force. Helps us get rid of sticky monsters and is just a good card in general. Next up, we have Injection Fairy Lily, who is big, and that's her drop. She just, she's big, and she's good at it. Um, and then next up, we have Spirit Reaper, to both be sticky and annoying, as well as to, in a simplified game state, just rip cards from our opponent's hand. And that's it for the toolbox section. We're going to move on to the floaty cards that help us to accrue advantage. So we start with a Gravekeeper package, which is three Spy and a Guard. Um, spy, of course, can summon out the guard, and guard is just a strong card that if we can bounce back a tribute or bounce back recruiter, then that really helps us to um, gain advantage over opponent, hit for face, and maybe go for game. Next up, we have two tomato, which basically just searches out both sand game and witch. Um, witch, who can search out every single card up here, and sand game, who can search every single card from DD Warrior Lady to the end of our monsters. And the next up, we have two Apprentice, one Old Vindictive, and one Moth. I wasn't considering this at first, um, because I believe that our engine is not quite as strong as our opponent's, um, and that's just frankly true. But in this specific deck, where it's a floater that also goes into strong cards like the Old Vindictive and Moth, I feel like it is incredibly vital because the only other slot that this would be filled by is Giant Germ or Troop Dragon, and I don't think that those are good enough to warrant um, a consideration. Next up, we have Yadigarasu. Kind of like Spirit Reaper in a simplified game state that can help us to really just out-resource our opponent, but unlike Spirit Reaper, um, Yadigarasu can lock our opponent, whereas um, with Spirit Reaper, they can keep drawing in their draw phase um, and hopefully for them find an out um, sadly for us, find it out. Uh, Yadigarasu really just turns that on its head and says, if you don't have the out, you lose the game. And so we're hoping to Yadalock our opponent this episode and really just put the screws on because I'm tired of being nice. I want to win. <laughs> and then we move on to the spells. We have our Broken Draw spell in Mirage of Nightmares, as well as the two Emergency Provisions to make sure that we get the draw four and we don't have to discard during our standby phase. Next up, we have three Bait Doll to out any back row, as well as two My Body to screw over any of his needle ceilings and offerings that he might bring to the table. And then we have seven tools, Magic Jammer and Magic Drain. I actually think that Magic Drain is better than Magic Jammer in this specific scenario because while he does still get the effect of his spell cards, to actually be able to activate them um, and get them to resolve, he needs to discard another spell. And that puts him on having it, which in a simplified game state, he just straight up might not. But it also forces him to um, just have a blank to neg one on that. Um, and then next up, we got two Bottomless and Ring to get rid of any sticky monsters, as well as Sock to really just help accrue advantage. And then we have three Trap Dust Shoot. We had this at three last episode and did not see it, except for our final draw in game one. Um, next up, we have the side deck, which is three Magical Scientists and a Mirage Knight. Now, Magical Scientist is actually searchable off of Apprentice Magician. 
So what we can do is we can float into a um, we can float an apprentice magician into magical scientist if he is going for a big beat stick style deck. While we do have options in sock, in ring, in bottomless, we might not, might not have enough life points. We might have already gone through these. And while um, both Exiled Force and DD Warrior Lady can get rid of it, and Amazon Swordswoman can maybe close out the game if he does that. Injection Fairy Lily can't beat over it, so it is a little bit more difficult for us to out, and that is why we have these in the side. So we can summon out Magical Scientist, and then um, we can Magical Scientist into Dark Flare Knight, go battle, swing, it crashes, and I take no battle damage because of the effect, first line of text, and then it floats into Mirage Knight, who will beat over whatever big monster he has, and then we have three book, just, it's a good card, he only has one, I believe, and I have three, so it helps us to have these in the side at least. Um, and we have two Spiritualism and one Na, or Noble Minimum Extermination, which is, those are here just in case he plays a heavy back row deck. I don't think he will. I am still putting the three bait doll in just in case, but I don't think that he will just because his only options for spell, for quick effect spell track removal is Offerings and Needle Sealing, and I don't think that those are good enough to warrant consideration. I mean, he pro I think that he will consider playing them, but basically him having to fill three slots that were filled with Raigeki Break um, makes it far more difficult for him to mount a more cohesive strategy. Um, and then uh, that's why I am not really respecting back row quite as much as I have in the past, regardless of whether or not I've seen my back row removal um, in the past anyways. But anyways, that is why we still have these in the side, is just in case. Then we have one sock, or the last sock of your armor. We do have the two in the main, and I don't think you need more than two, but in case he's playing a very aggro deck, then I'll throw these in. Same thing with needle sealing, we can definitely take it slower, and just out-resource him if he is playing aggro. And this just helps us to not get run over, and for us to go for a big push. And then we have Judgment of Anubis. Um, this is if he is playing a substantial amount of back row hate. But anyways, I really hope that this can um, can swing a win because I am desperate and I don't want to have to ban another card. As much as I would like to ban something like Swords of Revealing Light or another card like that, like Megamorph, I I need to win. I, I <laughs> Just for my own sanity. <laughs> but anyways... Let's jump into the games. Well, Zach, we are we are here. We are on the cusp of yet another banning from your end. Um, I think we both don't want that to happen, both because you don't want to be uh, zero and four, and I don't want to lose another good card. So, <laughs> yeah, as much as I would like to take a DM staple from you, my pride is definitely on the line right now. Like. I, I can blame the last three on DM staples, but I went to the banning, so now I feel like I need to at least get one win. Yeah, yeah, no. I was, I'm still, not necessarily shocked, but your ban of uh, Raigeki Break genuinely surprised me. Um, I thought Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Swords of Revealing Light were going to go way before Raigeki Break did. But let's see if it works out for you. Let's go ahead and get into the RPS and... Ooh, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> We're the same person, no. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> okay. All right, uh, obviously, we're going first. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I, mean I could go first. That, that'd be a thing. Draw phase, draw for turn. Stand by main mm -hmm. phase. Okay, this isn't looking... This isn't looking amazing for me. Um, you know what? We are just going to set, and we are going to pass a turn. All right. I'll draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Stand by anything? Nope. Well, I don't even have anything so set. Do what do you, I'm, yes, I'm going to shift you in the standby phase. I don't know. I will match your set with... A couple of my own. Oh god, he's got back uh, row. Chat, he's got back row. Yeah, I'm gonna do two sets and I'll pass. Draw, stand by, main phase. 
Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, let's get cooking. Uh, we will flip summon Old Vindictive, and I'll pop the monster. Hmm, that's, that's not what I like to see. That oh. was a spy. Okay. All right, uh, we're going to sack for Lesser Fiend. Anything here? No, unfortunately, no. All right. Uh, it is only 21 this time around. No All Mega right. Morph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's good. That, that's kind of good. Okay. <laughs> Stand by main. <laughs> I will set one. And I will set another. And you're good to go. Alright, I'm going to be 100% honest right now. Even though I mentioned Sakuratsu armor in, like, the polls, in everything, I totally forgot that you would just have access to it. Um, so, stand by anything. <laughs> no. You're just thinking, oh, sweet, I get Sakura this, this time. Yeah, it's like, he, he didn't pull it. His polls are terrible. He only opened 30. There's no way he got one Sakuratsu armor, at least. <laughs> Oh. I don't know. All right. I did uh, only ever get one super rejuve. That is true. That is true. You only ever got one of those. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and run out a Mystic Tomato. Ooh. Yeah. That's fine. I'll go battle and I'll try to hit. It is another spy. Okay. I will declare the effect. Uh, this could not be worse for me. <laughs> oh, God. All right. It's, I... This is fine. This is fine. He's just going to tribute blue eyes, chat. I honestly think I'm just going to get another spy in the fence. That's very fair. Wall up. Uh, second yeah. main. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Yep. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, we'll go standby main. I will sack for Vampire Lord. Oh god, you pulled this guy. Shit. And then I'll just go battle and I'll swing into the tomato. Yeah, that's good. I'll take six and then... Let's see. So your turn uh, player, yeah. so your guys trigger first, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, declare one type, monster's play trap. one type. Um, I think yeah. I want to go for spell here. You sure about that? I mean, the chance that you have Moth definitely sucks, but I mean, um, it's it's no. I think I'm gonna go for Trap. All right, that sounds that sounds slightly better. Uh, and then I'll the traps you're working with. I'll trigger. Uh, I'll trigger Tomato. Um, yeah. It's a very hard pick for me because I know you have two um, Moth, and I also know you just have a ton of good spell so it's like if i get rid of monsters then just send the good ones and then reborn it back i'll summon sangan and, um, and then i'm going to pitch you know this this has been in my deck since like episode one it has never come up uh i'm gonna dump mirror wall yeah yeah that's probably fair i uh i'll just go main two and yep. i will pass the turn sure draw standby main phase Mm -hmm. Um, well, card. That's weird. all right. Um, yeah, we're gonna run out Sonic Bird, and I'll attempt to trigger the effect. Yeah, still playing this engine. I mean, this you don't have any negation, but you can still bottomless. No, uh, you can't bottomless it. I don't know what you possibly do. Um, yeah, we'll grab. <laughs> big surprise! We'll grab Black Illusion Ritual to hand. Mm -hmm. I'll activate Black Illusion Ritual. Yeah. Um, does it? It doesn't do for cost. So, do you have anything on to, in response to the activation? I do not. All right. I'll send. And this will get around the Vampire Lord. Which yep. Is I'll annoying. I'll sack Sangan for uh, Relinquished. I'll trigger Sangan. Mm -hmm. Oh, what to get this here? Bad as it can get. Yeah, this is not amazing for you. But it's also not amazing for me because... <laughs> uh, multiple reasons. Uh, Sangan, Sangan, Sangan. You know what? Um, I'm 
feeling feisty. Let's grab the exiled force to hand. Force. Okay. All right. I will. Now I'm assuming you're going to activate the effect. I, I, I will attempt to take your vampire lord, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's What's insane. good is that you can't hit over my spy, at least. That's 15 defense. Correct. So this basically just lets me get the monarch off your field. <laughs> um, so I don't really have much to do. Uh, mm -hmm. But I have a relinquished on field with a material, which is in and of itself kind of terrifying for you. Uh, so go yes. ahead. All right, I'll draw. Yep. Um, standby main. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I think I have to just set a monster and pass here. Sure. Draw phase, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. You're not playing a lot of big guys. Either that, or you just haven't seen any of your tributes. I mean, well, you did see Vampire Lords, so I'm assuming you're playing mm -hmm. like some kind of monarch strategy. I guess we'll just keep the pressure on. I'll uh, stand by, I should say, anything. No, you're good. All right, main phase. Uh, we'll run out Bazu. Yeah. Oh, you've got so much in there, too. Um, I'm only going to Bazu for two right now. I'm going to banish uh, Old Vindictive, and I guess we'll, eh, we'll banish the Tomato. Oh. Uh, so he bumps up to 2,200. Mm -hmm. We will attempt battle phase. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start by trying to clear the Spy. Yeah, the Spy's gone. I will try to clear your face down. And I will banish both. Oh, yeah. When did you get this? To, uh, is this, this, this episode? Up. Oh, God. Yeah. I did not get this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, so this goes to grave, and then this is going to be banished. Um, I believe you don't... Yeah, because it, was, it wasn't, it it wasn't was destroyed. Yeah. Um, so I will try to get in with Sonic Bird. I will be forced to take 14. Alrighty. Uh, second main. Year go. Okay, I'll draw. The zoo mm -hmm. is until opponent's end phase. That is really bad. Yeah, he's just kind of big. Um, and you can just do that again next. Hmm. I'll just run out Amazonus. Oh, God. And then I'll swing into Sonic Bird. Sure, so I'll take 100. Mm hmm. All right. I'll pass. Draw for turn. Um, I mean, we kind of have to answer this. Like, we, we just kind of have to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This will go back down to 16 real quick. Um, yeah, we're just going to go standby main. Mm -hmm. Um, we're just going to go straight to battle. Okay. I'll clear and I'll take a hundred. Mm -hmm. Second main. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Yep. Standby into the main phase. Yep. I'll set and pass. Draw. Standby main. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we just got to keep pressure on a normal Mystic Tomato. Okay. Uh, we'll go battle. I'll mm -hmm. attack into the face down. It is Apprentice. Are you on so this I engine? will trigger that here. Yeah. Now here's the question. Are you on the Apprentice Magician engine? I would imagine you are. You have no spells in Grave, so it's either Old Vindictive or Apprentice itself. I mean, you could go for yeah, Moth, but you'd just be wasting your Moth, yeah. I mean, I'll clear it with the zoo. So what do you want to destroy? Yeah. I'll pop the tomato. Pop the tomato, sure. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. Standby main. Mm -hmm. Draw. Standby anything. No. All right. Uh, main phase. Yeah, well, let's just, uh, let's just thin the deck a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to normal Sonic Bird. I'll trigger the effect. Yeah, that's fine. 
Um, this is going to very much uh, show what I'm playing, but uh, I'm going to add Shinado's Arc to hand. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, we'll go battle. I'll attempt to hit for 14 direct. I will take 14. I'll attempt to hit for 16 direct. I'll take 16. Second main. That's all. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. This is going very well. Did I have to discard for hand size there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did, yes. I missed that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll... The, the arc. Yeah, I, w I, I can just set the Shinado's arc, um, which... I or guess... any card. It could be anything. Yeah, it, 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 could, be, it could be anything, right. but uh, we'll just, we're just going to set, set that. Um, so, stand by anything. No. All right. Main phase, I will set another card. Oh, man, I feel like we just have to get pressure on, like, mm -hmm. now. Uh, but your guys are, like, your back row is terrifying me, but you haven't used it yet, so, like, what, what could it be? You're out of all, I ran you out of all of your spies, which is crazy. I'm kind of, I'm kind of chilling. Uh, let's go battle. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I'm afraid of is Gravekeeper's Guard. Yeah, I'll hit with Sonic Bird. Uh, it's Sangan. I'll get my Sangan search. Sure. And I'll, uh, on res of that, I'll attempt to hit you direct for 16. Mm hmm. Jeez, uh, what could your back girl be? I'm going to add a Spirit Reaper. That seems like a good idea. Uh, second main, year ago. Alrighty. Stand by main. I will set one. Could literally be anything. It could pass. be quite literally anything. Uh, stand by main. Mm -hmm. I'll set one. I know it's Spirit Reaper. I mean, I just. I kind of just win the game if I do this. So, well, normal exiled force. Mm -hmm. uh, exiled force effect, target your monster. Oh, okay, uh, I need to do math real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I have to do this. I will my body it. Yep, that that is in my body. Um, Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just correct to flip it up, because then when I target it, it pops itself, so I'll go to battle and I'll attack. Mm -hmm. It was actually tomato, so I'll tomato here. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, there's literally only one thing I can get to not die, and that's another tomato. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'll, assuming it doesn't just. Yeah, I'll hit. Yeah. You'll take the two hundred. Yeah, I'm uh, thinking what I go into here. Yeah, go for it. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't been boosting Bazoo. I don't feel like it's necessary right now, especially if I like top deck reborn. I could reborn mm -hmm. into like Sangan or Lesser Fiend. I'm just going to get a. Apprentice. Sure. Um, I take the two. Yep. Then second main, year go. Okay, I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by into the main phase. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sack for Lesser Fiend. Sack for Lesser Fiend, yeah. Anything on summon? Nothing on summon, no. I will proceed battle, mm -hmm. and I'll hit into Bazoo. Uh, Saku. Yeah, you got it. Oh, game. Alrighty, your choice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go first here. Yep, sounds correct.
I did not expect you to play something so aggressive today. I didn't even think that was really aggressive. I'm just playing aggressive, <laughs> I guess. All right, I'm going to set, 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 and your go. Sure, draw phase, draw for turn. Stand by anything. Right. See what you're working with here. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been I've been asking about it. I know you have three. <laughs> okay. Um. I think the only correct choice here is just bait doll's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Hot Des is annoying, but I can do things. Exiled Force is annoying, but it's. It's got to be just Spirit Reaper. I think that's correct, yeah. Then shuffle up. I shuffle the deck. Uh, do you have a second one? <laughs> I wish, honestly. All right, uh, main phase. You, you know this is coming. Yeah, I'm, this, this is gone. It's, it's Magic Jammer. Would that meet oh, activation? Wait, it forces the activation. It forces the activation. Yeah, so you have to discard a card. <laughs> That's really annoying. I'm going I'm to get rid of my own bait doll. Yeah, luckily bait doll is destroyed, so it stays in the graveyard. Um, we'll go ahead and set a card. Uh, could, be could be anything. anything. <laughs> um, I guess you're on Monarch, so I guess we just got to keep you off it. I'll exile and then pop. Okay, you got rid of my warrior lady. It's a good trade in my opinion. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, honestly, that's a very good trade for you. Uh, I'll draw standby main. Yep. I would say anything in standby, but I know what you're working with. You so. you know what it is, yeah. I'm just gonna set a pair and pass. Interesting. Interesting. Uh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Yep. Standby main. Yep. Uh. I'm going to set one, and then I'm going to activate Marauder and pass. Oh! <laughs> He's playing it, chat! He's finally playing it! <laughs> Drop for turn. And uh, I'll bust you. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Uh, show hands. Uh, <laughs> we'll just get rid of Hod. I feel like that's correct, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's just correct. And then I also draw four cards, so... Uh, yeah, you do. You do get to draw four cards. Uh... Ooh, that's insane. That's so good. Um, <laughs> uh, I feel like... All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set one, and I'm going to pass. Um, uh -huh. Big shocker, but there is reason behind it. It turns... Uh, this turns... It's off on the others, yeah. Well, no, it, I mean, it turns... Um, when I activate the ordeal you know about, this becomes a 50-50 to guess instead of a... Uh, mm -hmm. 33% chance to miss. So mm -hmm. statistically, so in draw, it was better. I'm going to provisions away. Yep, that is that is how you play this card. Take note. Take note, bum boy progression. That's how you play this card. This man just drew four and gained a thousand. And I am on I am on a Shinado and a dream. <laughs> I will then flip summon Moth, and I will add back ordeal. Huh? <gasps> you mean Mirage, but <gasps> Or Mirage, yeah. Yeah, you are playing this correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have guessed? I was trying to do last game, but I just didn't draw anything. Yeah. Um, I will run out a tomato. I'll, I'll take just go battle. Yeah, I'll take the lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, actually, yeah, why I'm am I doing this? Hard. I have to activate. <laughs> I want to activate this um, first. I'll, I'll choose spell and I'll target this one. All right, that is Shinado. So I won't take the moth. <laughs> so does this get added back? Does this bounce back to my hand? Um, yes, it does. Yep. That is that is actively Sweet. bad. So now this helps me. Thank yes, you. this is actively bad for me, but it's also fine. Um, I'll swing in and then I'll do this one and I'll spell. It Can't is... miss it twice. <laughs> you missed it twice. <laughs> I mean, it does. It doesn't matter. I'm on a fucking. I have an eight star ritual. And two spells. It doesn't matter. All right, draw. Yeah. Uh, stand by. Do you have anything? No, no. I I can't dust shoot when you have three. 
I, I mean, don't know. I could have anything set. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. What? I'll bait all the new one. Okay. Well, it's it's it was ring. Okay. Uh, that is that is good for me. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'll draw. Stand by me. Yep. You know. I could be playing conservative, but screw it. You you know all the contents of my hand. You literally only lose to our deal right now. I'll just I'll just run out of tomato and swing. Sure. And then I'll do this and I'll call spell. I can't miss it three times. I swear. Which I swear. one are you targeting? This this one. <laughs> Okay. 12.5% chat. 12.5%. I'll set a card and pass. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. I'll run out <laughs> breaker. He's going to break it. Uh, stupid <laughs> ordeal. <laughs> actually, actually, on summon, I'm going to bottomless your breaker. No, no, no. Pryo is a thing. Oh, yes. Pryo, Pryo is a thing. I'll still bottomless it just so it's out. So, like, yeah, you don't yeah. get it. But, yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. Go. All right. Uh, draw, sit, uh, stand by, main, set, pass. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by, main. Mm-hmm. Um... I'll actually run out of Sangan, and then I'll go battle, and I'll swing for a K. Force times the charm. <laughs> Calling spell. It is. It is. It is a spell. I will Thank take. I will goodness. take the. I will take the grand. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I will then pass. Sure. That is so unbelievably bad for me. Um. Stand by main, go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Let's get the screws on you a little bit. Huh. Spell. Uh, it is a monster. <laughs> Dang it. Um. Spell. <laughs> Okay, I the that. most profitable Shinado in the history of Shinatos. I'll go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will go to end phase and I will discard. Um, guard for hand size and I'll pass. Sure, draw. Uh, stand by main. Mm -hmm. I'll normal Mystic mm -hmm. Tomato. No! Battle phase, I'll try to hit for 14. Um, I'm going to suck with it. That is uh, completely you seem a fair. Bit, you seem a little bit screwed over in terms of the hand situation. That is that is completely fair. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by me. Yep. You know, I think I need to just chill out but also yada locking is so funny I'm gonna go monster this time it's a spell <laughs> the one time I didn't do it the one freaking time I didn't do it I mean now you know that my hand is two spells however mm hmm I'll go to the end phase, and I will pitch. I don't even know. Um, I kind of have everything I want, so I'll just pitch Sangan, and I'll pass. Sure, draw. Standby main phase. Mm hmm Oh, man. Now I have some things to think about. I don't like hearing that. All right, uh, we're going to run out rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. I'll reborn, right. target your warrior lady. 
Ooh. That, that kind of sucks. If DB will catch up. There it is. Cool. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Um, okay, to grave with you. I guess let's just... I feel like we need to play smart, but I also feel like this is the worst thing in the world. Because, like, yeah, we just have to play around it. Um, I will attack directly with rat. I'll take 14. I'll attack directly with lady. Take 15. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Set. Set. Pass. Sure. Oh, man. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll spiritualism the back row. The new one. Okay. Um, I guess I should have said standby main anything, but a uh, battle phase. No, you're good. I'll attempt to clear this. It's moth, and I think I'm going to grab back provisions. That sounds correct. Um, and I'll hit direct for 14. Yep, I'll take 14, which is exactly where I want to be right now. Thank you for asking. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set one, two. Um, three, and I'll pass. Sure. I'll s uh, stand by anything. Nothing here. No. Main phase. I'll set a card. I'll go battle. I'll attack with warrior lady. It is which would you like to banish? I think I have to banish this. And then I'll, I guess I'll hit direct for 14. Or attempt mm -hmm. to, I should say. Uh, second main. Go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. So it's a spell and a monster. Um. Well, you don't know it's a spell anymore. Because I activated the spell I had in hand, which was spiritualism. Well, I know I know you had two spells. You had the re. Oh no, you used the reborn. Yep. Oh, I have no hand knowledge. That's annoying. I'm gonna just set one and pass. Yeah. Uh, this could be bad. This could be very bad, but uh, I feel like I could use a couple of turns. Um, I'm gonna flip Moth and I don't like grab the Reborn back to hand. Hmm. Um... Um, <sighs> okay, uh, you're going to laugh. Which ritual would you like? <laughs> uh, that one, <laughs> the good one. That is very fair. That is very fair. Um, let's shuffle up. Stupid swords. Yeah, I'm, we're just going to activate it and we're going to switch rat sideways. Well, actually activate mm. it and then it gets flipped. So then I get to see what it is. It's probably old vindictive. It's Apprentice. Ah, okay. So, not, so essentially. Not as bad. Um, so then do I want to hit in? That's the question. I'm like terrified of battle tricks right now, so I'm actually just going to I'm just gonna pass. I'm like good. I, I got quite a few. Yeah, you do. You have Sakus, you have Bottomless. Oh, Bottomless isn't a battle trick, but still. <clears throat> it, it's, it's removal. Yeah, it's the same um, thing. I'm just going to... Set two and pass. Sure, uh, that is turn one on swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll, I guess I'll normal witch, 
or I guess just say standby main anything. But you've gone through all three dust shoots, so there's nothing more. Uh, yeah. Battle phase. I could be on light force sword. You could be. You could My be. Light force sword is a good card. Uh, one we will. Singular copy. We'll try to clear the apprentice. I will apprentice here. Yep. I will set. Uh, I'll set Old Vindictive. That sounds correct. Um, I'll hit the unknown. Okay, it is a tomato. Okay, get your tomato All search. tomato here. Yeah. Uh, so you've already used Witch, you've already done that. Yeah, then that's what I do. I'm going to go for a Spirit Reaver. I see. Um, so here's the funny thing. So I could either crash like the crash? I could crash the witches or the the Reaper and the Moth just to get it off the field, or I could just flip it to defense. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Second main, I'll flip Witch sideways or Moth sideways, and I'll pass. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. Uh, boop. Yep, that seems correct. Boop. That seems correct. Uh, boop. Uh, it has to target a monster. Yeah, you would love to hit Ordeal off the field right now. Oh, you know it. Um, and then I think I am... I have normal. I think I'm just chilling. Yeah, they're good. Right, and that's turn two on swords. That is turn two on swords. Um... Now that I'm playing a good deck, I can weather swords. Yep. That is a thing you can do. Oh, man. Uh, da, da. Ha, ha, ha. Um, I guess we're going to get a big guy of our own. I'll sack Witch for Lesser Fiend. I'll get my Witch Search if you, have, if you don't have anything. No, that, that, that resolves. I'm surprised you have not, like, you don't have a bottomless. I, I am genuinely surprised. Uh, we will... <laughs> I'm pretty sure bottomless is, like, limited or something. It, oh, yeah, it is. I only have the one, so I don't... <laughs> I don't have to worry. Um, I'll grab send you to hand, just because. Wait, bottomless is not limited, but I, I only have two copies. Okay. I thought you had three. Oh, whatever. No, I want to. Um, yeah, we'll go battle phase here, and I'll hit into the unknown. Oh, wait, that's not unknown! No, that's all addictive! Oh, no! You know what this is. Uh, yeah, I fucked up. I forgot. You're good. I mean, I wouldn't have just flipped it anyways, so it was doomed if you do, doomed if you don't. Do that, that, is, that is correct. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, stand by main? Yep. Um, um, should be doing that. That would be annoying. Uh, I'm just gonna set one. Sure. Set another. Yep. And pass. Sure, that was turn three on swords. Swords to grave. Yeah, I was about to say, get rid of that. <laughs> get it out of here. Stand oh. by. Uh, you, you, you're out of dust shoots. Uh, main phase. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, fuck it, let's go for the tempo play. Uh, Pog. Um, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> this is... Is this fine? You must discard a plus. It is net neutral. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, this is. You know, we're just we're just gonna get it. Yeah, we'll we'll dump reborn to draw. Yeah, this is this is worth. Um, Book of Moon the Moth. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hate this. Uh, flip summon moth, and I'll grab Pog again. This is the worst day of my life. I'll try to activate the Pog. 
uh, chain sadness. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. This is this is interesting. This is interesting. All right. Um, this is going to be your most favorite exchange in the history of exchanges. I'm gonna heavy here, just because your back row is terrifying me. Uh, no. No. My body no. mirage seven tools. All right. All right. I mean, all fair. All fair cards. All right. Um, just because we need to thin the deck. I'm going to normal summon send you. Activate the effect. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to. We'll add Relinquish to hand, yeah. um, mm -hmm. but we're going to... Yeah. So the viewers will see there's one thing we can do, but we're going to do the funny thing. I'm going to activate Shinado's Arc. Yeah, you should just do nothing. I think that's the correct choice, just to not do anything. All right, so to the grave, we're sending one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to summon Shinado. <laughs> Shinado has an effect. It does. It has an effect to gain life points. Oh, so no effect. Essentially, I mean, I'll try to hit in. This is all vindictive. So I literally now just... I regret. Now I regret setting this. Um, the thought process was you don't have anything big, but. All right. So uh... now, all right. So now, hear me out. Hear me out. Would you like to activate the effect, paying two thousand, so it goes up to thirty four, so that I gain thirty four thousand life or thirty four hundred life points? I assume, I assume not. I don't do that, and <laughs> I hopefully don't get too owed. I mean, you still have a Spirit Reaper on field. I still, like, have to find an out to Spirit Reaper is the problem. Yeah, I'm going to set a pair and pass. Sure, draw. Standby, main. I mean, I'll set, and I'll... Out of spite, I will attack. Okay. Go Does it only gain off of destroyed? When it's destroyed, yeah. Okay. Stand by me. Yep. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'll set and pass. Draw. Stand by main. I mean. I'll exterminate the back row. This back row, specifically. Um, I'm gonna chain provisions. Uh, sure. S sending this provisions to grave. Oh, you had two thousand. Wait, hold on. Okay. All right. Because so here, 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 here's for cost. I cannot. Oh, that that's fair. That'd be very funny. Um. All right. Uh. Battle phase. I'll hit the unknown. It is spy. I will trigger it here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get 12. Yeah. I have to see my good cards eventually. You do. I mean, you, you're 11 cards left in deck. 10 now. There's got to be good cards left, right? You'd think that. I mean, you have to have more than one Saku. <laughs> Unfortunately, that does nothing. It'd be very funny to do it right now. Um, but unfortunately, that does nothing. Main phase, battle. I guess we'll. I guess we're gonna keep gaining life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny, but I just don't want to do it. Uh, that, that, what? Is, that is not what I meant to do. It's like, is he tribute summoning? What is he tribute summoning? <laughs> what could be better than Shinado, king of a higher plane? <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll attack your speed. Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I did make the incorrect play, chat. I recognize this. <laughs> I will draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Um, now for me to absolutely say fuck you. All right, so I am I am going to Saku the Yada. That way I don't completely okay. lose. All right, what are you hitting? I'll take the 300. This one. Uh, it hits it out of hand, right? Yep. Well, yep. uh, there goes that. <laughs> the grave goes Black Illusion Ritual. Oh. I'll go main two. I will set one and pass. I'll try. Uh, stand by main. Yep. I'll run out Swordswoman. All right, so now hear me Set out. One. Hear me out. Deck out is an option for me, because I do have... <laughs> oh, great. That was Megamorph. <laughs> uh, stand by main. I will uh -huh. set a card and say go. I will draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Boop. Mm. Ah. Dang. All right, so I will get this magical merchant effect, um, but it will go to graveyard. So mm -hmm. we just mill until we hit a spell. That is not a spell. That is not a spell. That is not a spell. Is it spell or trap or just spell? So hear me out. Deck out is an option for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess we grab the Saku to hand. Uh, what are you hitting out of hand I will, with? I will hit, and I'll go for this one. All right. Uh, there is there is the relinquished. Okay. A little bit unfortunate. Yeah. I'll just pass here. Uh, hold on. Uh, well, stand by main, but one, uh, one, two. What? What's happening? I don't like this. Uh, yeah. No, not back row. Could be anything. It could be. It could it's be a good literally. Thing I drew bait doll off the top. All right. Um. So here's the thing. I don't know if okay meets the activation. I don't think it'll trigger the Saku because Saku's activation requirement is yeah. when a monster attacks. So yeah. Yeah. Also, Merchant uh, is no, banished. Mm, yeah. Here's the question. The answer is yes. So, hear me out. Deck out is an option for me. Yeah, deck out is an option for you here. Um, let's see. How many... Uh, probably only playing two ordeal. Um, I'll choose spell here. You're out of moths, so, yeah. Um... Well, there is one option. Well, there's two, but uh, the good one is called uh, Send Bait Doll to the Graveyard. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is that you get to choose. I'll pass here. Go ahead. Um, so there's a good play... And there's a funny play. I'm gonna do the funny play and normally give itself a counter. Yeah. Alright. Uh, unfortunately, you do just have the counter to this. Uh, it's a rat that gets banished. Also, my Sonic Bird from last turn gets banished. Yeah. I'll hit for four, and then I'll hit for 2k, and I'll call Monster now. Okay. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can just send Shinado to the graveyard. <laughs> That's, that's true. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Because you just get Vampire Lord back next turn. Um, do I get to trigger... Oh, it's only destroyed by battle. That's unfortunate. Oh, is it only battle? Okay. No, no, for... um for Oh, for, Ma Apprentice. Or for Apprentice, yeah. I was like, I was pretty sure you get Vampire Lord back. Uh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Stand by, I'll get the Vampire Lord back. Yep. I'll just go battle and swing for 2k. What you call it? Call spell. Uh, none left in deck. Information, then. Uh, 
Alright, there's one card left in deck. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah! So, alright, yeah. I, I, I will be 100% honest, I threw there because I had, like, not intentionally, obviously, but I had Relinquished and the Ritual in hand, and I had this Lesser Fiend in hand. And I was like, I could just Relinquish, take your Spirit Reaper, and then I can just hit for, like, an amount of damage. But I was just like, but that doesn't kill you. I should save the Relinquished for uh, if you get something big out, like a Vampire Lord or, a, I don't know, your own Lesser Fiend. I need something to deal with it other than Spirit Reaper. Because Spirit mm -hmm. Reaper didn't apply any pressure until I ran headfirst into a Sakuratsu armor. <laughs> Alright, um, oh. un un unsurprisingly, I'll attempt to go first. So, shocker. Draw phase, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Standby, main phase. Um, unfortunately, we don't begin with Pot of Greed, but we'll get with we'll begin with a T set and pass, which is like still good. Yeah, it's still good. It's still uh, good. Standby, main. Yep. I'm gonna bait all the back row. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Saku. Yeah. I love. Can I just I mention? Bang. I love bait doll. Just like as removal, it's, it's like the most fair it's removal. Good. It's really yeah. good, and it's just like the most fair removal. And it's like it's common, so we both have like multiples. So, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think we both have at least a playset. Yeah. I'm gonna run out of tomato and just go battle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it is witch. I'll get my witch search. All right. What are we getting with witch? What are we get? What are we getting? Uh, you should get, um, absolutely nothing. You should just, you should just, 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 just I opt out of the mandatory search. <laughs> opt out of the mandatory search, he says. Um, it's not great, but let's... Funnily enough, Lesser Fiend can be searched. It would if it didn't sight him out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you talking about i'm playing a ton of recruiters uh sonic bird to hand all right i'll just go main two and i'll set a pair and pass sure draw phase draw for turn stand by main mm -hmm. or i should yep. say stand by anything i i did not draw dust sheet this time okay um so uh we will start this turn by activating pot of greed <laughs> I ain't happy about it, but sure. Chain Ash. <laughs> you wish. Nope. Um, I do wish. I really wish. I'll bait doll this back row. Ooh, um, it is my body, so it gets it gets set, set back again. down. Yeah. Okay. So this isn't like great for me. I'll normal Sonic Bird and get the effect. Yeah, that's fine. So I could crash into, like, your guy. Uh, oh, God. Okay, this is, like, bad. What do I get? Crashing seems good for me. Yeah, yeah. Or for, for you, it's totally an optimal play. You should do that. Um, I'm going to add Shinada's art to hand because I want to be okay. funny. Um, I'm just going to set... You know what? I'll set the fort. Oh, I have Heavy Storm. You don't have Heavy Storm. Standby main. Unless you secretly have had Heavy Storm and I just didn't notice. <laughs> I wish. Um, so my body gets around that. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. I'll just go battle. And yeah. I'll attempt to crash. I'll make you pay 15 for it. I will pay the 15, yeah. Fair enough. It's just too good for me to do that. And then I'll trigger Tomato. Of course. Now, what do I get is the question. Uh, DD Warrior, why do you have to be light? <laughs> uh, because Shining Angel exists, so you could have just been playing that. This is... This is very accurate. I forget. Do you have a play set um, of Angel, the... or do you only have two? I have two. Okay. I think the correct choice is actually getting Spirit Reaper and then swinging in with that. D yeah, that, that sounds correct. Uh, what would you like to hit out of my hand? 
This one. All right, it's rat. Oh, that's big. I'll just go main two. I will set one and pass. Sure. Draw phase, draw for turn. Standby, main phase. Mm hmm. All right, so. You should activate heavy. You wish. You wish. <laughs> um, really simplify that game state so I can spirit repeat you to death. Well, dark hole here. I will magic drain. I do not have a spell in hand. Then it gets negated. I do have Injection Fairy Lily, however. Ooh, I do have Bottomless. Uh, you can't Bottomless it. It's but so it doesn't have enough. No, it doesn't have enough. Yeah. No. Um, I will declare an attack and then boost it by 3k. So you'll take 31. I will take 31. And then I have paid 2k to do that. Mm -hmm. and so there's an easy solution here. It is just... It's Sakuretsu armor. <laughs> well, it's also that, yes. <laughs> okay, now here's the problem. I do not want to keep paying 2k for this. So we'll go standby, main phase. I'll normal mm -hmm. tomato. Okay. I'll flip Lily sideways, and I'll battle. Okay. I'll hit the unknown. Okay, it's Apprentice. I will trigger that. Yeah, yeah. I will set... I'm set. I'm going to set... Actually, what's my grave real quick? I do have my body in there. Are you really going to moth back on my body? That's that's what you're asking I yourself. Are you really going to moth? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think so either. So, I think... <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest, Fred. I don't think it's worth it. Especially with how much removal you have, because I got rid of Raigeki Break exactly. Mm -hmm. I think the only correct choice is just Old Vindictive. Yeah. Um... All right, so second main, I'm going to set a card just so you can't Spirit Reaper it out of my hand. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly funny. Uh, standby main. I don't like funny. Flip. Whoops. Yeah, so you're flipping Vindictive. I, I get what you do. Flipping. Yep. And popping. Sure. Switching to attack. Sure. Normaling Yada. <laughs> going battle. Old Vindictive in. Sure. Oh, wait, no, it's 15. I thought it was... That's yeah. my bad. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I'll, I'll let you go back a little, a few steps if you'd like. I, I, would, li I would like to go back. So I'll, 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 be, I'll be nice. Defense. I'll be nice, yeah. This is, this is to hand. Yeah. Um, I will just... Set and pass, then. Sure. Stand by main. Um... So Lily's not lethal into Vindictive. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it is just factually not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like, how far do I want to go down this rabbit hole? But here's the thing. If I put Lily in attack, it's... I just realized it's... Well, I knew it's when it's attacks or is attacked. So it's like, if I just put mm -hmm. Lily in into attack, you just can't clear it with anything but monster effect removal. So yeah, I mean we'll play we'll play aggressive here. Normal okay. tomato. That seems correct right now. Battle. I'll attack with a lily into vindictive and pump it. I'll take two k. You'll take. Yep. Is that twenty nine fifty? Love it. And then uh, tomato into this one. I will get my witch search. Um, that's bad for me. Because <laughs> that. Be better. I mean, you can just get vindictive. And then you can just set the Vindictive. <laughs> and that clears or, Lily, at least. And hear me out here. I get Swordswoman. Yeah, that... Wait, no, I can't get Swordswoman with that one, because it has yes. 15 defense. Yes, you, that is correct. Um, it's Sangan that I can get that with. Correct, yeah. Um, 
I was gonna say, that's like, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that would still be crazy. And you did get, uh, is, I forget, is Swordswoman an ultra rare? It is a super. I, oh, no, I think that is an ultra, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, then what do I get? That is the question. All right, and I feel like the answer is just vindictive. Oh. But. That would be the answer if I had more than one. You only have one vindictive? I only have one. I'm just gonna grab Exiled Force. Okay, that that still deals with the Lily. Stand by me? Yep. I will run out Exiled and then I will Yeah. declare Yep. for a Lily. That seems correct, yeah. I mean, the onus is on you. I got, I got Reaper. Set. And pass. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by me. Yep. I will set. And I will pass. Um, stand by main phase. Thinking here. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like this is this is correct. I might be I might be missing a line here. Um, but I feel like this is the funny stuff. Uh, yeah, so we'll set a card. Uh-huh. Needle ceiling? It gets rid of my tomato, uh, but it deals with the Spirit Reaper. Yes, it does. Um. And that is unfortunate. Then we will <sighs> I like kind of want to get get aggressive here, but I also just don't, but I guess I'll activate reborn. Targeting. Do you have anything in your graveyard that'd be funny? Not really. <laughs> you can get Spirit Reaper back yourself, but I don't know what it does. It protects me. Um, I could get a monster from my graveyard and just hit over yours. You haven't gone through your DD Warrior Lady yet, though. Yeah, I'll just get back Tomato. Okay. And then I'll battle phase. I'll try to hit the Tomato. Uh, it is Spy. Uh, I'll take Spy six. here. Yeah. It's just correct to get Spy here. Sounds correct, yeah. Uh, second main, go ahead. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by main. I will overlay, if only. No, I'm a bait doll targeting this one. Uh, it is Nobleman, so it'll stay set. Ooh. And this goes to grave. Yep. Um. I'm just gonna set one and pass. Sure. Draw. Mm -hmm. All right. This is pretty funny. Uh, I will flip, summon, send you, and here it gets its effect. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Are you going to beat over my heckin' spy? Uh, we might be. I mean, realistically, that's like your only option. Alright. Um, I'll Shinado's Ark. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. I'll dump Shinado for Shinado? <laughs> sure. I will bottom with Shinado. I forgot you had that, and I had the extermination <laughs> that I could have just exterminated it. 
Um, is banished, my guy. It is banished. Yes. Uh, stand by me. I just went. What am I doing? I just went minus. I just went like minus of infinity. I don't know how I felt when I was playing Crab Turtle. I I do uh, know yeah, how you felt playing Kept. You're playing scientist. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, stand by main. Yo. I will run out of breaker. Break the back row. Well, I, I think you hit first and then you break the back row. I not do that. I'm yeah. just going to swing into Senju. Take the five. Arguably, I should have just flipped these I'll to go defense, main two, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I will just pass. Sure. I prefer Gemini Elf over getting rid of a back row that I don't care about. That's fair. To defense. If Dueling Book ever catches up. It never does. There. Uh, no. There we go. Uh, go ahead. There we go. Yep. I will draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Uh, I will break the new one. It's bait doll. <laughs> Cool. Bait. I had nothing to worry about. Bait doll is just like attack. the best thing ever because it is just bait. Attack. Yeah. Normal yada. Go battle. I'm not getting yada locked. You're getting lot yada locked. All right. Uh, tomato effect. Yes. Um. Okay. Do I have a way to out this? I hope the answer is no. Let's see. You've gone through Witch. You have Sangen left, and Sangen has. Oh, uh, Sangen is the only target. Well, it's not the only target. It's just the only target. I'll hand. swing in. Uh, I'll take however much, and then I'll get the. Uh, no, I can't get Bazoo to hand. I can only get Spirit Reaper to hand. Uh, okay. So what? What'd you swing in with? Uh, I'm guessing a spy. 16. So it's two sixteen, and then two again. And then auto draw goes off. Mm -hmm. I will go main two. I will activate Mirage. I will go end phase. Yada goes back to hand. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, draw phase. Nothing happens. Stand by. You draw two. Uh, main phase. I'm just going to set. And then we're just going to go. OK. I will draw for turn. Yep. And in draw, I will activate provisions. He drew the provisions, chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, stand by main? Yep. I could yada lock you, but I I essentially have game. Like, what did you add off the sand again? It was Reaper? Yeah, it was Spirit Reaper, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I theoretically have game here. No, I don't. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah, we'll see. If you have, like, a rush recklessly or an equip spell in hand, then you can, like, attack and then equip spell it, and then it go and then it dies, but yeah. Well, no, it's it's Reaper, so. Yeah, but you, you have to flip it up first. Yeah. Because you, you know Reaper's effect to destroy itself, right? What? Let me read Reaper. <laughs> Please read the first effect of Reaper. <laughs> oh. I did not know that effect. Um... <laughs> This man just you know, doesn't even know the out to Reaper. Yeah. I'm just gonna go battle and swing in. Yeah. Just 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 out of spite. And then I'm gonna set one card and pass. Yep. Uh so I do get my draw this oh. turn. I, I'm also going to switch these sideways. Sure. Um draw, stand by, main phase. I mean I guess I'll exterminate the back row now. Yeah, it's, it's bottomless. Yeah. And then I'll set a card and pass. Is that, my, is that my last bottomless? I think you get to view my deck. You do, yeah. I get to see your whole ass deck. <laughs> um, Not that it'll matter. Uh, yeah, banishes all cards. Destroy. destroy it, then banish it. And then if it was a trap, they reveal their deck and banish all cards with the same name. So you do, get, you do okay. reveal, yeah. Uh, gosh. Hold, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Mirage Knight? Mirage Knight? Now I see I'm what the magical right scientists were for. <laughs> it's in the side to out big monsters if you're doing like a big beat strategy. I guess, sure, yeah. 
Stand by Main. Yep. Um. Um. Yeah. I mean, we'll slowly pick apart the board, I guess. I mean, Stand by Main. Mm -hmm. Normal Exiled, and then I'll Exile to pop one of the Spies. Yep. Stand by, I'll Dust Shoot. Ooh. Hey, you you resolved like five of these. I get one. Um, okay. <laughs> also, it was three. Yeah. Uh, I had yeah, three yeah. in every single main deck, but this is the first time. The first the first time we're seeing it. <sighs> Alright, so unironically, Yada doesn't matter because if you clear Reaper, I just lose. Um Yes. Like, Lesser Fiend and Vampire Lord are, like, really strong cards. Um, however, you have to inflict damage for it to do anything, and right now, Spear Reapers. So, unironically, Magical Scientist, like, I don't know what you could get, but there might be a uh, extra deck. There could be a fusion monster that does target something. So, that's just the correct hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just so you know I'm not cheating. Yeah, you're good. All right, so I know I'm not dead this turn unless this card is exactly Old Vindictive Magician. Which I know I you only have, well, apparently you, si you only have one, so. I'm just going to pass here. Yep, draw. There are, there are literally multiple draws that do it. Anything in standby? Nothing in standby. I'll go main, I will set another and pass. Sure, draw, go. <laughs> I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Just because I can, I am going to... Actually... I'm going to flip up Sangan. Sure. And then I'm going to tribute that off for Lesser Fiend. Get your Sangan And then search, I'll go yeah. Sangan. I'm going to grab... Your exiled is gone. It's got to be exact. Warrior Lady. You can grab Roar, your lady, because it's 15 attack, it's 16 defense. Um, so there is your Reaper out, if I don't get something else. And I'll just pass here. Yeah, I'll set another one and pass the turn. I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Um... Uh, I'm very afraid of your back row because realistically this is one of my only outs to this card. So I think I am going to just set a card and pass. Sure. Not playing Cold Wave? Set and go. Stand by main. Yep. I'll bait doll targeting this. Uh, yeah, it's spiritualism. Okay. Back to deck. Uh, no, because it's not destroyed. When this oh, card wait, resolves. No, when it resolves. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then then both of mine go go to the, go back. Oh yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You just just playing with one fine. one card thinner, not cheating at all. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um. Thank goodness you don't have spear dragon. <laughs> Yeah, if only. I was thinking of playing a Spear Dragon deck again. I was I was talking about a deck at it. I was thinking, like, there's a high likelihood he could bring, tr uh, like, Dragon Tribal back. Um, but it looks I'm like you're just playing good stuff, yeah. To the uh, it is Old Vindictive, so I will pop... Pop the Spy. Okay, and it is Banished? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, luckily it's on flip, so it doesn't really... It still I works, yeah. I will go main two. Yep. I will... Because I haven't normaled yet. I will normal summon Yada. Go end phase, Yada comes back to the hand, and I'll pass. Sure, draw. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, like, decent. I'll normal Sonic Bird. Activate effect. Yeah. 
add black illusion ritual to hand. No, 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 I wish, but all you know, I don't have bottomless. Uh, relinquish, take lesser feed. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be at twenty-one a thousand, I believe. Yeah. That's a hundred. One more zero. Uh, standby. Oh, that's already standby main. Uh, battle phase. Mm-hmm. I'm like 90% sure that this is DD Warrior Lady. But we'll go ahead and just... Literally anything. Breaker does nothing. It's just a 16 vanilla, so we'll just clear the other unknown. It's tomato. I'm going to tomato heat. Sure. Get your tomato search. I will grab... Scientist. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I am terrified. Okay, yeah. Stand by main? Yeah. Um, so, that's actually unfortunate. I'm just gonna normal summon. Sure. Switch the defense, go battle here, and... Declare into Reaper. I'll book the lady, at the very least. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Yep, that will indeed go set. Go to set mode. Yep. Um, there you go. That's so bad. Set one, or standby main. Um, I guess battle phase so now i know that's the warrior lady so i'll clear the other unknown scientist okay fair enough go ahead um i'll draw yep stand by main yep flip shokan yeah um Uh, thinking. Yep. That is objectively bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna go battle, and I'm gonna swing in, and then I'm gonna banish both. So, on attack declaration, you're gonna love this. Um, well... Uh, if you talk to me, I'm gonna be very upset. No, because I'm, like, thinking, like... This feels, like, actively worse. But it's, like, all you need to do is, like, top deck Hades. I don't I just, have Hades. Yeah, not Hades, but, like... Oh, gosh. A big guy. Yeah, it's, like, if you top deck Saku or something, if you, like, if you have a battle trick to set, then that's how you out relinquished. Mm-hmm. On attack declaration, I'll needle ceiling. It's not good. It's my whole ass board, but it's your whole ass board too. Um, and it does blank your battle phase. Like, I was hoping you would normal summon here because then I would uh, like. Now I have like I'm putting myself on have to draw a monster. But either way, I had to draw and a monster. This is spiritualism, so yeah, you... I don't need to worry about that. Well, that's a monster. <laughs> Normal bazoo. Oh no! Do you have no, 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 no. anything? <laughs> this is sixteen. No, you can I don't list. have. I'm out of bottom. Oh, list. you're out of. I keep forgetting. Uh, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to just go for the fort. Uh, we'll banish bazoo or not bazoo. Uh, we'll banish Shinado. We'll banish relinquished, and we'll banish bird. Okay. This goes up to 25. I'll do battle phase and I'll attack. <laughs> yeah, you had the soccer, yeah. Go ahead. You know, 
I could be nice, but this is going to be my first win, so death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> You're not even going to flip up your guy? Nope. Yeah, you got it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know the last card, Spiritualism. Oh. I don't have any graveyard effects. What, what, what would the next card have been? Because I was like, I was thinking about Spiritualism, spi uh, Spiritualism and this, the, the Saku. What was this one? Oh, that was another sock. Oh, okay, so it, it didn't matter. Um, I honestly, I was letting you clear things with because okay the, the next um, card was bottomless i it needed space done anything. i just needed space in my in my freaking zones oh, that's but yeah i i was siding in um I'll siding in mirage knight because i did draw dark flare yeah i did pull dark flare and mirage so i was like if he gets if he does something like like this shenanigans <laughs> then yeah. i can just go battle um Crash and in, then Mirage it Knight, gets yeah. Destroyed. Go a Mirage. And then just friggin' Yeah. Beat over it. And yeah. it, like this does twenty eight. This does twenty eight damage. Yeah, it's it's bore it's bore it's bore alone, yeah. Stopping. It always does damage. Yeah, it's, it's it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, so um I'll be honest, when it came to this deck, uh like I said in the deck profile, I was struggling hard to find playables. Um, and I believe we got them this this set uh, in Magician's Force. I pulled two of these fuckers, and I was when I pulled them, I was like, "We're not playing Shinado." I just straight up said, "We're not playing Shinado," because I was like, "We we have a very like poor ritual pool, having only one Senju and three Bird, um, because normally the hard part isn't finding the spells; it's finding the monsters." Mm -hmm. um, so having like three rituals. And then building an entire deck around that is just, like, not good in my opinion. However, the thing that you, like, have to remember is that there just aren't any, like, decks this form, like, in this game, right? There, in, this, yeah. in this point in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, there are no, like, coherent strategies. The, go, the coherent... basically good stuff beats. Yeah, the, go, the coherent strategies, is, as we have been seeing, are, like, 25 to 30 good cards and then 10 like different cards case in point here you mm -hmm. played like a more monarch heavy strategy you're playing uh vampire lord i'm assuming you were playing lesser fiends and like any other like yep. good monarch you're playing spies because i have one one zombie vamp or vampire lord because i have one yeah um, it, my, the whole point of this deck is just to out resource you because i have tools like yada yeah um and i have just insane resource engines like um like the uh, heckin' my recruiter pool is insane, so being able to utilize that princess magician stuff as well as the spy engine. I cited out the guard, but like all of this is just insane, insane yeah, resource. Yeah, e each of these cards, like individually, just plus you. Like you, you just go plus one. And against yeah. a deck like this, where I'm inherently minusing myself with the rituals. Uh, it, it does win in a resource advantage. Uh, obviously, like, their games two and three, I think we saw um, that you were up by, like, four or five cards the entire time. And that was before resolving Mirage of Nightmares. There was, like, y you would have resolved Mirage more. It's just you had too many cards in hand. And you just didn't have, like, enough cards to set. Anyways, what, what we were saying is um, your deck, like, when you're playing against a deck like mine where the rituals inherently are, are minuses... Um, you mm -hmm. you do just get to uh, kind of run over me. And, uh, yeah, you, you had multiple cards in your hand the entire time, more cards than me, um, almost always. I don't think I was ever up in resources, even in that first game that I did, uh, that I did take. Um, and, like, to be completely fair, like, Everybody knows at this point in time, rituals are not good. I mean, Relinquished is by far and away the best ritual monster um, that exists. Shinado is just like the first ritual monster uh, after Relinquished that has a positive effect. Um, 
And, like, we uh, we got other, like, decent ritual cards in this set. I believe Flame Lord, uh, I think it's Legendary Flame Lord or whatever his name is, uh, he has a decent effect, right? He has the effect to nuke the board except himself. He's literally just a Zeus. The only problem is he's a Zeus after your opponent resolves three spells. And if your opponent is resolving three spells, they're either things like Pot of Greed, they're things like... Um, like Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, uh, or in your case, there are things like Fissure and Mirage of Nightmares, which just yep. will not win the game in a resource war. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, I think there were some lines that I could have um, taken a game here uh, if I either played more aggressively or more conservatively. Uh, but like I said, I had my reasons for not because I knew you. I know you have just so many battle tricks. You have more battle tricks than me, um, so I, I yeah. wanted to play conservatively. Whole, that was the whole thought behind banning um, the Ragaki uh, break. Ragaki break is just because you have so few options for removal, whereas I have a ton. Mm -hmm. um, so just being able to get rid of the strong removal that you have puts me in a position of power because then I have more generic removal that options. Uh, afforded to me yeah now let's let's go ahead and talk about the standout card from today's episode uh mirage of nightmares you didn't realize you had this card i i had to point it out because i noticed it when you were doing your uh when i was editing the videos i noticed you had it and i didn't realize you weren't playing it <laughs> yeah um i completely forgot that i had this um if i'm honest i just did. And I also, um, I, I only have two, um, EPROF, yeah. two emergency provisions. Yeah. So it's just, it's, um, it's a three card engine and I need to see. Both. So game three, I had Mirage the entire time. Okay. Like from the get go, mm -hmm. but I, A, wasn't in a position where I could use it because I was, I was a little bit monster flooded and B, um, I, was so afraid of not drawing emergency provisions because at, like when I did end up activating um, Mirage or Nightmares, I had two cards in hand. Yeah. So I was just drawing two. Um, in game two, I was like, oh, I'm drawing four. I have a much higher chance of emergency provisions off the top. Yeah. Um, and I did. So yeah. it's just, it was, so it was just, yeah, getting into, into that. Yeah. So for those viewers. It doesn't feel worth it unless you don't. Yeah. So, like, now to be fair, those for those viewers who are like, um, you know, Pot of Greed is an incredibly strong draw spell, um, arguably the strongest one in the game. The only two that beat it out are Graceful Charity and this card. Because if you didn't notice, this card says draw four, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, it was used a lot by Jaden in the GX anime. Uh, so most people know like the generic combo of this that you did mention, where you go. Mirage of Nightmares, and then use either Emergency Provisions or uh, MST to destroy it so that you don't discard your whole hand. But just yep. drawing four cards is insane, and it definitely stood out. I'm, I'm glad that I think this card gets banned. Actually, no, it doesn't get banned. Well, maybe it, it does. For a decent bit. It, 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 well, it's still banned today, but I, I'm, I'm remembering yeah. that this card, like, Based on the anime, right, both Mirage of Nightmares and Pot of Greed were in the GX anime. So I don't know if this card gets banned later or sooner or, you know, whatever. The point is... I'm not sure. Yeah, the point is that this is your broken draw spell. I have one, uh, you have this one. And to be completely fair, I would actually rather have Mirage than Pog. Like, Pog is insane. Uh, I mean, as we saw when I was able to resolve it twice, it essentially was the same thing. But this card is so cool. I've always wanted to play with this card. I wish this card was legal in so many of like the retro formats that uh, I have played. Uh, it's just not, and and for good reason. It does insane yes. things. This card, this it is, is incredibly strong. I I a lot of people will say there's a lot of cards that could come back uh, off the ban list. This is one that can never come back. It's like. This mm -hmm. card, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, Dandelion, and then, you know, some of the other just, like, insanely broken cards that just cannot exist. They, they just cannot exist in a game that's not built around a resource system. So, anyways, let's, let's go ahead and talk about the pulls for today. Um, so, 
I think the the standout card from today's set is uh, without a doubt Sakuretsu armor. Um, yes. Obviously absolutely. not like the most individually strong card. Uh, there's things like uh, you know you've had Breaker for a while, but there are things like DD Warrior Lady. But Sakuretsu armor is a card that will stick around forever, right? Like, as long as we Absolutely. have it at, at legal, we will probably be playing it. So I only pulled two, as you can see. How many did you get? I pulled a playset. Okay. Um, I have one in the side, just in playing a slower style deck. I didn't want to brick on sock. Right. Um, but I did have them in both games, two and three. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So. Another, uh, one yeah. other reason why I was sort of going back and forth on Mirage, like the first iteration of this deck, even after I knew I had Mirage, did not have it in there, mm -hmm. just because I only have one Moth, and I cannot cycle it as easily. Right. Right, yeah. And that's, that's, that's very fair. Um, what, what else can we say about this set? I mean... Spirit Reaper is really showing why it was so strong, um, why it will be eventually limited. Uh, I think it might be limited already. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, they were I mean, like it kept you from getting Yada locked. Yeah, there were turns where it kept me from getting Yada locked, and there were turns where it kept you from getting Shinado'd. So, um, mm -hmm. very strong card. Uh, we see Yada Grasu finally doing what it did, what it does best, and just closing out the games as a win more card. Um, yep, I did not even flip the spy because I really just needed an emotional win more than anything. That's very fair. Now, speaking of emotional win, let's go ahead and get on into your the winner's wheel. wheel. Yep. So, uh, what are you hoping to get from this wheel? Honestly, literally anything because <laughs> I, I, need, I need help. But most importantly, I do really want to get the extra packs. Because that will allow me to go back into pre and either sure up some common pulls that I just did not get at three. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps me to just optionally get these strong cards like Pot of Greed, like Reborn, these cards that will eventually end up on the list. Yep. All right. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what you get in the next episode. Three, two, one. Oh, so close. So close. You you will watch the video and see how close you were to getting exactly what you wanted in three legacy packs. Uh, however, it is arguably just as strong. My friend, you get a snatch deal. Ooh. Now, this so, is very interesting. Any one card in my entire collection, you get to take a copy and add it to yours. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. that'll be interesting to see what you take in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.